other one, but we're out here in the goat yard, and uh, we were talking about the internet. We're trying to uh, get an offshore server where we can all feel comfortable and have a meeting spot for if YouTube, DTube, Twitter, Twitch, any of the well-known platforms disappear. We need a place where we can all meet up. Because with people doxing other people and everything that's going on, um, it's real hard to keep in contact with more than just a few folks. So with an offshore server, that will allow us a place to go should we need to, and we will be safe. And we'll all be able to meet there, not just a few of us. And uh, looks like we have a goat here with its head stuck in the fence. So I guess we're going to have to go remedy that. This is not an intelligent goat. It's going to rain, so I guess I better go do this. Okay, that's enough Melinda the molester. Let me set you down a minute, guys. Okay, here we go. Over to the goat who can't figure out how to get his head out. Right? You're stuck. Alright, let's get you out of here. I have to set this down for a minute. And bingo, the goat's free. Hi, sweet Madam Blue. Stinky, quit trying to hump her. Quit acting like Joshua Haynes. Anyways, guys. If we're able to uh, get an offshore shore server out of U.S. jurisdiction, we can all meet there and have a safe environment. We won't need to sell a bunch of cookies to dock your personal information. We won't be selling them to advertisers. We won't be doing anything with your information. The site will survive solely upon donations. Donations will be 100% transparent. Anyone who donates to the cause, you will see it. The money will not go for staff or any other insane things. It will go strictly for web service, the software is already purchased. The add-ons are already purchased. Um, so there's no need to spend any cash on that. The only thing we have to do is acquire server space that is not within U.S. jurisdiction. We also need a domain name that will allow us not to be under U.S. jurisdiction. Oh, and I think I'm recording upside down. Please tell me I'm not. Well, let's flip it and find out. It'll be hilarious if I was. Yep, I sure was. I was recording that upside down. Well, there you go. One of my first upside down cockeyed videos. That's a first. That should be kind of entertaining. Say hello to Melinda the Molester. Melinda, who molests everything and everyone. Hey, Gizmo. Your friend Tommy Brown's going to come see you soon. He wants to pick up hay and straw. What do you think about that, Gizzy? You want to see good old Tommy Brown? Downtown Tommy Brown. Yeah. Melinda, Melinda, Melinda the Molester. And there's Ghostess who always looks like she's pregnant, but she's not. 
I think she's suffering from a false pregnancy. I think Joshua has her convinced she's pregnant. <coughs> And there's Mr. Stinky eating some hay. Hello, Mr. Stinky. Take a look. Uh, there's a young male. You can see his nut sack hanging there. He's a weird looking goat. Satanic goat, it's black. Oh my god. Hi, Mr. Stinky. Mr. Stinky. Peanut. Hello, Peanutian. <coughs> I don't know your name. Polly. What's up, Polly? Hi, Polly. You need a new home. Some of you guys need to go home and be pets. Destroy gardens. Oh, I should say destroy weeds, not destroy gardens. Oh, time out. Time in. Oh, I actually made it over two minutes and the phone didn't die. I can't believe it. I don't know what's going on with the camera. Brand new battery, it lasts two minutes and dies. Oh well, is what it is. Here we go, just a walking down the street. I'm gonna put a link in the description uh, for the donation pool for the server. There's a strange cat. I believe the kittens are hiding down there somewhere. I'm not sure. There's the chickens. And the bow flock is in there somewhere. There's ten barred rocks known as the bar, the bow flock. And uh, I don't know if you can see Merb or not. It's a little dark in there. But Merb's sitting up on top of the cage there. Nope. Can't quite make out Merb. It's a little dark. But we have this kitty that's over here. Then we have this mama kitty who likes to hiss at me. She's the mother of that little kitten that I don't know where it went. So we'll pick up we'll pick up the camera. Take it in with us. There's the tractor. Finally. Finally the tractor is fixed. Uh, I'll fire it up for you guys. Just so you know I'm not. I'm not faking it. Here we go. Fuck it up. Ignition off. In gear. And we're done. Pull the seat up for the rain because it's going to rain tonight. Let's break the camera down. I'm going to have to set you guys down again for a minute. It's going to go black for a second. Sorry. But going black for a second is really no big deal since I did videotape it upside down for quite a long time like an idiot. But hey, what do you want? I'm just a farmer. I don't know any better.
I don't know about all those things. Okay, step into the light, young man. Let's find a young man first. Oh, here we go, Tommy Brown. Here are the Australian winter peas. There's the blossoms. And uh, as you can see, they're forming peas now. They're actually forming pea pods. They're everywhere. I got a little too close with the mower over here, you can tell. But as you can see, the pea pods are forming pretty well all over here. That's probably, I don't know, I'd say close to 42 inches tall. <coughs> okay, and today we got Oh, a little over a quarter inch of rain, almost a half inch of rain so far today. All right, let's see what we get tomorrow. Put the rain gauge back. That's the rain gauge. And make sure we're still recording, and we are. Here's, uh, as you see, we're finally cutting the grass. See, in the country, you can let your grass grow, and they don't hassle you. And it grows to seed like this. And this reseeds your lawn. So you don't have to keep buying grass seed and seeding it. This is one type of grass. You can see all these heads of grass here. And I, let me grab some of these other. Here's some other grass seed. Snap one of these off. This is what the, the other grass seed looks like. Something you really don't get to see in the city because they have all those nifty ordinances. Cut your grass, it can only be so many inches tall. Blah, 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 yakety, smackety, all that horse shit. But here you can let your grass grow, mature, and reseed your lawn. And Hag's cut that part of the lawn over to the chicken tractor. And over there is, you see, the rest of the tall lawn that has gone to seed which as she cuts it, it will get whipped all over the place and it'll reseed everything. Um, I'm not sure. I think I was, uh, I was supposed to uh, video the, the tractor for somebody. I'm not sure who, but my tractors are a little different than Freeman and that use. They, uh, their tractors don't have bottoms. Mine do. As, uh, it has a, a wire mesh bottom, so nothing can get in from the bottom. I prefer it that way because of our moles and everything else around here. 